Hello everyone, my name is Azatru, how are you? And welcome to another Star Wars Battlefront 2 video of mine. And this is another Top 5 Mods of the Week episode. It's week 28 and I've got 5 awesome mods for you in this mod showcase video. So I have been on holiday for the last few weeks so I've not been able to make mod videos. No Top 5 Mods for the last couple of weeks but... I am back and I have five mods from the last few weeks to share with you which I think are worthy of a top five position. So let's just get straight into this because you guys have been waiting and waiting and waiting for more mod videos and this is where it starts. So in number five for this week I have the BF2015 Sabres mod from Orthohex and essentially what this does is is make the lightsabers in Battlefront 2 look just like they did in the previous game. So there is much more of a glow to it, there's increased bloom, plus I think the colour does look a little bit better. So if you do prefer the look from the previous game, use this mod and you can, of course, make it look like the previous game in the current game. And in fourth position this week, I have the Inquisitor Clone Troopers mod from King Warrior. 5,000. So, you start off with a good loading screen, which is changed to relate back to this mod, and of course you get four different units. The Assault becomes the normal Inquisitor Trooper, the Heavy becomes the Sergeant Inquisitor, the Officer becomes an Officer Inquisitor, the Specialist is a Helmetless Inquisitor, and the Death Trooper is the Officer as well. And this is great to be honest because it's based off the clones that are seen in the Darth Vader comic series and this just looks really cool. I do like the look of the newly branded Death Troopers. They definitely look better than I think the standard ones in my personal opinion. The red just looks really, really cool. It reminds me of Inferno Squad a lot as well. <laughs> In third position this week, I have a mod from Toop12, and it is Before the Spark, a near complete era overhaul. So this mod is actually not quite finished just yet. It's not in its fullest form, but it will get there eventually. So what this mod does is it basically replaces almost every single unit with a brand new skin. The Rebels and the Resistance have brand new looks. They look fantastic, to be honest. I would pay credits and crystals for some of the skins that have been put into the game for this mod you know they just look great they do look great there's some nice color work going off and you know the assault skin actually is in star cards weirdly but not in the game itself which i find really really weird i don't know why like it's from before launch and yet we still don't have it in game it's really odd i just don't get it but yeah, there's new uniforms, it's just new, you know, all kinds of new stuff. And then the clone troopers replace everything on the First Order and the Galactic Empire side. So you always have clone troopers there. And Toop is going to be doing more prequel era stuff. It's going to finalise some units. The Imperial Jump Trooper and First Order Flame Trooper are going to be changed. And potential vehicle changes as well. There's all kinds of stuff going off. So it's really, really cool, I must say. There's a lot going off in this mod. And the runner-up for this top five mods of the week episode is the 332nd Battalion from Orphohex. So, you know, we know that there is a seventh season of Star Wars The Clone Wars coming next year. And to celebrate this, Orphohex decided to create this battalion. So during the Siege of Mandalore... Ahsoka Tano commanded this special detachment of the 501st against Maul's Mandalorian loyalists and the 332nd Battalion painted their armour orange in homage to their Tog Rutter commander. They've used phase 2 armour as well as unique markings and all good stuff there. It's just really really good. It's just a fantastic mod to be honest and uh, there is a rex version of the mod if you would like to get it but it is bugged at the moment so uh, maybe it is changed in the future but nevertheless there's two versions and there will be a link of course to this mod and all of the other mods in this video in the description below Yeah. 
and the winner of this top five mods of the week episode is absolutely huge. So this is the Battle of Coruscant mod from the Innovative Modding Crew. It's a collective of modders. You all know them. Some of the really active modders within the community have come together to create this incredible mod. So what does this mod actually include? Well, for starters, it replaces the map Ryloth with Coruscant as a planet down below. So you can reenact the opening of Revenge of the Sith. There is a brand new map layout featuring so many more cruisers for both sides, which looks incredible. And there's movie accurate Revenge of the Sith Vulture Droids in there, which look fantastic. You also have Anakin's Jedi Starfighter replacing Yoda's which looks fantastic, plus a custom portrait for the selection menu. And the player count is 25v25, so you get this huge battle going off. It's just really, really awesome. I think they've done an incredible job with this. I'd love to see more mods like this. They just did a great job, and I cannot wait for you guys to get to download it. So there is a link to all these mods in the description below. Remember to let me know what mod was your favorite. I'm gonna guess most people will say either the 332nd Battalion or of course the Battle of Coruscant. It's just fantastic. It really, really is. And I cannot wait to see what they come up with in the near future. So remember, let me know in the comment section below what your favorite was, which you didn't like. If you want to, I'm going to be reading all the comments as usual. Check out any of the two previous videos on the screen if you did miss them. And I shall see you all in my next Star Wars Battlefront 2 video. Goodbye.